All right, creation code 5.01, etymology. Like I say, I'm, I'm slowly, this is a rough, really rough draft of, of a book that I'm trying to work on, been working on for a long time. But now that I see the creation code as clear as I'll get out, then I'm going to go ahead and put it in the book. I have to pay somebody to type it from the audio. So anyway, etymology. So the etymology lines up with the Bible, just like everything else, because uh, everything comes from source, and Jesus is the source. He spoke it all into existence. So spoke, words, Jesus is the Logos, the Word. So the words <coughs> re reveal everything. When God showed me uh, the truth hidden in plain view, or he told me, and then he showed me. I didn't know where I was going, but I was going to try to figure it out by the grace of God, by his help. And so eventually I was led to the etymology. Now I could have decoded it without the etymology, but it would have took a long time. But eventually, I would have ended up at the etymology. The reason the etymology, E.T. is extraterrestrial, right? So etymology is E-T-Y-M-O-L-O-G-Y. Now, L-O-G-Y goes to logo, which is word. Logos is the word. E.T. is extraterrestrial. Et. I. The phonics is E. Like the letter I. M-O is modus operandus. So the letter the letter Y sounds like the letter I. It's similar because a, an I has a dot over it, right? That represents the dot matrix that we're in. It's a dot matrix. You know, a dot matrix goes back to the blood of his cross. You would think that every woman on the face of the earth would get saved because every month she has a, a dot. Dot goes back to speck, speckle be speckle and if you ever been married the woman will see specks knowing that her period is on the way you would think everybody every woman would get saved you'd think every human would get saved because when they eat they have to kill an animal and the animal has to sacrifice itself but it points back to the blood so the dot matrix is the blood of his cross and so that's why a printer is a dot matrix printer. That's why the cartoon uh, reboot had a had a had a waitress named Dot, and she worked at a restaurant. And the restaurant restaurant in that cartoon was black, white, and red. So the dot matrix is the blood of his cross, and you're in it. It's all around you. You're living in it. You're eating and drinking of what Christ did, uh, really of, of Christ's eternal life. Drink of his blood, eat of his flesh, he said. The reason you're eating and drinking of the dot matrix, which is Jesus on the cross, is because he is eternal life. And you're actually a word. Everything around you is a word. So the etymology, if you break words into parts and go back to their source you're actually going back to the source meaning of every word and if you take enough words and break them into parts and take them back to source you'll see a pattern it takes about it takes about 50 words you know 150 to 100 words to really see it and if you break any word into parts you'll go back to one of four words, cut, turn, union, and flow. And that's exactly what's happening every moment of every day. You're being cut back into the to the fellowship with God. You're being unioned back with the God. You're being turned back to God so that you can flow in the spirit walk. So anyway, the dot matrix that you're in, the blood of his cross, is evident in front of you it's actually built into you and especially a woman you would think all women would get saved because they have that menstrual cycle men st rule menstrual men rule st snake on the cross 
her desire shall be to rule over her husband, but he shall rule over her. Pain and childbearing, many sorrows. The reason of women have many sorrows because she's caught up in the drama because the, the, the drama system's based on her body, her cycles, her 28-day cycles, the moon, everything else. And a lot of the women blame men for wars, but actually Eve dropped us down into wars because every woman's a fractal of Eve and every man is a fractal of Adam and you can't escape it. Eve was in the deception. She went in and started worshiping the devil and herself, believing the lies of the devil and worshiping herself. And Adam was not in the deception. He went, out, he went down with a ship, his hip, because Eve is a hip of Adam. She's the flesh side of Adam. She's like a mirror image of the man, but she's she's the receiving end. Adam is the the given. There's always a give and receive. The flesh mind. So the spirit filled woman. She has an old nature and a new nature. The spirit filled man has an old nature and a new nature. But the types and shadows of Adam and Eve, the husband and wife, represent the flesh versus the spirit because the because Eve is a piece cut off being cut back in just like the church is a piece cut off being cut back in and so there's no greater love than man lay down his life for shrink so God sent his son to die for the church just like Adam went down with the ship to die for Eve to pull her back out but it's all the type of shadow Adam was a prophet and he knew that he had to follow the types and shadows Moses he followed the types and shadows Longevity, if you follow the types and shadows, it's pretty much uh, you're resembling your, the type, the typology is you're following a type. And so the creation code is what? A type, a typology of what happened at the cross. The Bible is telling you in type and shadow what happened at the cross and the state that you're in. The Old Testament and the New Testament is a type and shadow of what needs to happen. Dr. Law, Old Testament, is telling you that you're, you got cancer, you got sin, and you need to go to Dr. Grace. So the types and shadows are playing out everywhere at all times, and you can't escape it. It's the male, the female, the night and the day, the Cain and Abel. Cain represents the flesh, Abel represents the spirit. The flesh always persecutes the spirit. <clears throat> That's why a lot of women who are not saved, they need the man, but they hate the man. The women hate the men more than the men hate the women. It's all of MK Ultra mind control. And if you notice, if you notice before you get saved, you're trying to please your mom and please your parents and please people instead of pleasing God. But once you get saved, you start to want to do God's will, and then everybody around you hates you. You know, you don't want to. You're not doing your mama's will anymore. You're not doing your your wife's will. You're doing God's will, and they're gonna hate you because they want you to do their will. It's all about their will. That's why there's a battle down here. Your will, somebody else's will, and God's will. So the battle within has to be conquered. And then once you conquer that, the battle without the other people wanting you to do their will has to be conquered. Now if it's a job, that's a different story. While you're there eight hours, you do their do what their will is. But the etymology, if you break words into parts and you go back to source, it's just like a river coming from its source, you know. The etymology is just like a river coming from the source code. So you take the etymology and you go back each word, you to break the words into parts, you go back to source, where the river started. And the word river itself, it goes back to derive. And so a river derives from a main body of water. And so all the words, all the etymology of words go back to the logos. When you unfold the logos, you get everything. And so, lo and behold, G, the operating system, L-O-G-O-S. So the etymology is modus operandi 
of the logo. So everything unfolds. It's like a spiral outward. It's just like uh, a spiral. It's, it's just like uh, uh, string theory. Everything is bummed, rolled up into little small pockets. Everything spirals out from the same truth. Everything spirals out from the logos, just like when you look at a uh, string theory concept, everything's spiraling into another universe. That spiraling outward, you can also think of it as spiraling inward, right? So if you spiral in with any word, any system, any shape, any color, any concept, you spiral back to the logos, which is the source. So the river spirals out from the source. Jesus is the source code river of the river. And so everything derives from the logos. And so the etymology is extraterrestrial. The what letter Y goes back to the, the I or the E. The E and the I. E is the spirit. The I is the dot matrix over the, the blood over a pole. The letter J and the letter I are pretty much the same. If you look at a small J, it has a, a curl and it has a dot. The curl is hook. God is hooked. Jesus is hooking you back. The dot over the J is the blood, and there's a pole there. And so the letter I has a dot and a pole. So both letters go back to Jesus who went to the cross. And the, the capital the capital I has a has a has a cross member at the top. The capital J has a cross member at the top. The capital I has a cross member at the bottom too, but the cross member goes back to the cross, right? It's a cross member. And so uh, the cross member, God is wants you to remember what happened at the cross so that you can member back in. And so the memory or the member, remember, is to re-tie back in because of what happened at the cross by faith. So you appropriate it all by faith. So the etymology will take you back to source just like everything else. Not just the etymology, but the shapes, the colors, the symbols, any concept, every word will take you back. Even the prefixes and the suffixes and the cognates and all that stuff. It all points back to what happened at the cross. Conjunction, unction, together, junction, and then G, J is Jesus, unction, unction of the Holy Spirit. So everything is a conjunction. Everything is a a together, a moving together. Remembering you, reconnecting you back through the cross, back to God. It's all connection. It's all remembering. To remember back into the body of Christ. It's right in front of you. It's right in front of me. The whole truth is always. So when you forget and you get and you let this life stress you out over stupid stuff you have to remember this is not your home this is just a this is just a typology typology turing machine to birth in the new creature in you so the types and shadows are to remind you to remember you so you remember to birth yourself back in but you can't do it. He has to do it. But you have to be have a propensity towards it. You know, if you if you if you if you seek God, you'll find Him. If you seek God with all your heart, you'll find Him. But you have to have that the desire. God is God is wooing every human, but not every human wants to be wooed. Just like not every woman wants to be wooed. Some women want to be a man instead of being a woman. Because they're fighting against the created order. It's just the way it is. And you see them everywhere. Because Babylon is opposite of the types and shadows. The devil is opposite of the types and shadows 
of Christ and his body, Christ and the church. It's so clear. If people don't get it by now, they'll never get it.